Yo, what's good guys? It's okay, what's up? If I'm Fosio and by now you should know the rest. Welcome to a brand new show called Size 10. Size 10 is gonna be my sneaker show on this channel and I'm so sorry that um, it took so long. You know, I'm a perfectionist and I was waiting for so many things to come right. I was waiting for the brand new camera that I'm shooting on right now because it has a screen I can, I can see myself. I was waiting for a logo. I was waiting for an intro and most of those things are not e even here yet. But I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's cool. Let's just shoot, George. You'll see other things. Pumpy. So one is in the Pumpy, and uh, let's just get the show out there. But yeah, welcome to size ten. I named the show size ten because I wear size ten. But yeah, I want to do some reviews on the show. I want to talk about shoes. I want to talk about sneakers. Sneakers are injuring me, guys. I won't even lie. Limele. They are like yo, yo. Throughout the this show, you're gonna find out my love for sneakers. I've been loving sneakers for quite some time, but I've only been only been but I've only been able to uh, afford shoes quite recently into my career and stuff like that. At the rate that I'm buying them, back in the day, I used to purchase like a, sh a sneaker once in a while, and mostly I used to survive on Vans and Chucks uh, because Jordans and stuff were more more of the premium price tag, you know. So um, with the hustle, I was able to afford. A better selection of sneakers and which is what you're gonna see today uh episode one is about dunks ah dunks ne? nike dunks so we all know the story guys nike dunks um are shoes that have suddenly got so popular they're basketball shoes uh by nike the company obviously we always so whenever whenever i talk to other south african sneaker heads we always talk about how you used to be able to find Nike Dunks at uh, Nike Factory. I don't know if you guys have been to the Nike Factory. It's an outlet in Woodmead, Eastern Mall. Do we have another outlet? There used to be an out Nike Factory in Foslo, actually. But I don't think people bought uh, much stuff, uh, so they closed it down. That's actually amazing. There used to be a Nike Factory in Foslo. Wow. But anyway, yeah. Nike Dunks, used to, you used to be able to find Nike Dunks uh, at, at the Nike Factory. The hype out of nowhere just boom, boom. Everyone just wants dunks. Uh, I think this the hype pretty much started in 2020. I remember trying my best in 2021. No, no, 2020. I tried so hard to get a pair of dunks. Now I was souped in by the hype. I won't even lie. I won't say, nah, I, mean, I won't even lie. I was souped in by the hype. I wanted a pair of dunks. 2020 was tough. I think I only got my first pair of dunk in 2021. Like since the, the dunk mania. The hype, the hype train started. I only got my first pair of dunks in 2021. 2020, just L's. Just L's, Shuff Life, Lemkus. I was just getting all the L's. I remember trying for the Brazil. What else dropped in? Uh, the Michigans dropped in 2020. So many dropped. So many dunks dropped in 2020 and L's, just L's. The raffles, I was just getting the biggest L's. I didn't get one pair. And my first dunk in 2021 was actually this one. Oof. See this shoe. Right? This was my first dunk in 2021. Uh, uh, the UNLV. Ah, oh, I was so happy that day. I was so happy. Shout out to Debza. You guys, if you're a sneakerhead in South Africa, well, if you're a sneakerhead in Joburg, you know who Debza is. Shout out to Debza. Uh, he helped me get this shoe. Uh, I I didn't sleep that night. It was my first dunk uh, in the dunk, dunk hype, dunk mania, and uh, dog, I couldn't sleep that day. But uh, we're not here to talk about dunks in general. Uh, there's other videos online to talk about dunks. I'm here to talk about a specific uh, faction of dunks, and that is Nike by you dunks. N Nike dunks by you? Well, Nike dunk by you or Nike by you is a platform on the Nike app, Nike website. Uh, it used to be called Nike ID, where Nike allows you to customize some of their most popular silhouettes. So there's a Nike by you, Air Force One, Nike by You Blazer, and Nike by You Dunks. I, I won't even lie to you guys, I'm obsessed with making my own dunks, my own designs. Oh, I love it so much, guys. I think it's, you know, it's the greatest thing Nike has given me. You know, um, I remember hearing the first word of uh, Dunks by You being launched, I think it was early 2021, and it was pretty hard to get uh, Dunks by You because of the hype train. And it was 2021, early 2021, and they they launched the service on the app. I said, bah, here's some dunks, you can customize them. And I spent like months trying to get a pair, but every time they restock, 
we they be like sold out immediately and we don't have you guys have seen if you follow me on twitter you probably seen me complain that there's not much social presence that Nike has, Nike South Africa has. So we don't have a, um, a social media profile telling us, hey guys, Nike Dunk Lows will be restocking on the Nike app at 9 p.m. South African time or at 9 a.m. South African time. You just have to guess and you have to go along with uh, Europe because I think, I could be wrong, I think that uh, Europe and South Africa uh, have this, a similar schedule, like have the same schedule. Some things are pretty different because uh, I've said this before, we get, we get dunks earlier than any other region, I think. Maybe there's other regions I don't know of, but um, we get dunks like two months or a month before America does. Probably a couple of weeks before the UK does. Um, yeah, I remember when I got the curry, Americans on, the medium curry over here. Americans only got this shoe two months later or three months later, but yeah, we get uh, dunks quite early, you know, some, some, even Jordan sometimes. But uh, yeah, I remember when the, the service launched in 2021, I kept trying to get uh, some designs off, but I was failing, guys. Long story short, when the service finally launched uh, in South Africa, it took me a couple of months, but I was able to get a couple of pairs. Uh, when I tell you guys that I'm obsessed with this pr platform, please believe me. I am very obsessed with Dunk, Dunk By Use. I have a lot of reasons why I'm obsessed uh, with uh, Dunk By Use, but I think the m number one reason is the, um, you know, customization. You know, you, you're able to make it yours. You're able to even uh, customize it to even what they write at the back. Like the Nike logo, you can change it to your name, to some numbers. So, like I love the level of uh, customization. I think it's it's pretty dope what Nike is doing, uh, and the designs can be really dope on depending on what Nike allows you to do. Sometimes Nike gives you a, um, a limited amount of of materials that you can use on the shoe. Sometimes you're only able to do some leather like we have here on the UNLV. Sometimes you can even do suede, like on this uh, medium curry. But yeah, they give you a limited amount, uh, they give you a limited selection of colors, um, uh, materials, and yeah, it's up to you what you do with that. My first Dunk uh, by You uh, design was actually inspired by the 7-Eleven store, uh, the American, um, American's puzzles, basically. Uh, and that was dope. So it's orange, green, was amazing. But unfortunately, the day it gets delivered to my house, the Korea guy uh, is outside my house at the gate, hitting the bell. Um, apparently, he turns to the right. When my mom comes, I was not home. My mom comes out to fetch the package. Two niggas with, with guns come through to the Korea guy, pointed at his head and say, let's go. So they took the Korea guy, the van, and I never got the shoes. So I've made like four customizations. If it wasn't for that uh, robbery outside my house, I'd have five dunk by use. But I've made four. Where's the fourth one? This is the fourth one with the custom box. Ah, I love this one so much, guys. It's a Goku inspired dunk. I love these. I'll probably never wear these ever. I love these so much. I'll probably never wear these. These are like collectibles. Ooh, ah, the, the padded material here. These are amazing, guys. I went hard on these. They even say Goku. Come on, dog. They even say Goku at the back. C come on, dog. So I like these so much. I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, so that was obvious. And this box is a custom box made for me by my friend Shaylin who's from Kickcraft. He made this box for me and even has my logo. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this. But um, yeah, here you go. It's a pretty dope box. It's an amazing box. Go to him if you need a custom box for your shoes. But yeah, these were my first Dunk by Use that I actually got. Uh, beautiful shoes. I love the material so much. It's um, this padded material that feels like a basketball, like a premium basketball. This is premium materials. You know, Nike's are uh, GRs, they're general release shoes. So Nike makes a lot of, of dunks. So the quality is usually not that great. Uh, it will crease 
almost immediately. But sometimes, sometimes Dunk by Use have even better quality. This one right here, the toe bar feels exceptional. You know, this material feels amazing. You know, it's a bit more premium. So I'm still trying to decide whether Dunk by Use has better quality than normal GR Dunks. But uh, this is far better than this golden rod over here. This golden rod, I've only worn it like twice and the, the creasing is ridiculous, but it's fine, I love it. I love to wear these like as everyday shoes. So I'm cool. What you need to do is just download the Nike app, make an account, go to the Nike Dunk By You, um, search Nike Dunk By You on the app or on the website. But I feel like the, the, the app works pretty much way better because you can save. So here's a trick about Dunk By You. You need to create your designs after you've registered on the Nike app. Create your designs, save them. Because right now, I'm pretty, as you're watching this video right now, it'll probably say that the Dunk By You is out of stock. It always is out of stock, but it restocks at 8 a.m. I'm just, I'm guessing because I check the Nike app every day. I've realized that the Nike Dunk by you might, I'm not saying 100%, it might restock every, every almost every day at 8, 8, 8 o'clock in the morning for the Nike Dunk by you low, and then for the high, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, the highs restock. So yeah, check the Nike app, sometimes even at 7 a.m. So check 7 a.m., check 8 a.m. Don't make the mistake of logging on on the Nike app at eight o'clock and then making the design. By the time you're done, it'll be sold out. You need to log on at eight, 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. and the design is already there. You just add to bag, add your size to bag and then you're done. Because if you want to desi design only when it's, it's in stock, you, you will never make it, my friend. Let me just speed through these. So this was my third attempt at Dunk By You. My first attempt at the Dunk By You highs. And I don't really like what I did here. I dislike the material. The tote box feels very strange. I don't know what this material is. I don't know what I did here. I was trying to uh, recreate like a, a mocha vibe. Like, uh, it's okay, I guess, but the materials that I chose are not great. I should have went all leather, or maybe leather, leather and um, and um, suede. But even the suede doesn't feel great. The suede quality. Can you see here? It's already. I don't know what's going on here, but the quality of this suede is not that great at all. I was seriously disappointed by this one. I did not like this one at all. I love the colorway. It's cool, but yeah, the tote box. I I don't know what material I chose here. This material is so weird. I don't know what material I chose here, guys. It's so weird, but yeah, this was not really one of my favorites. I am going to wear it, but um, yeah, I could have done better. I honestly could have done better. Ooh. So this one, I got the inspiration from, let's take it out. I got the inspiration for this one from uh, one of my favorite sneaker YouTubers. His name is Sean Go. Uh, he calls it coffee and cream and I think this is way better than what I did for the previous one, the mocha one. I replaced this, the laces. If you want some dope laces, go to Hefted Laces on Instagram. They make some uh, dope laces. But yeah, I replaced the laces. The laces were white and I put these cream ones on here and I think this is a way better shoe. Uh, the suede is way better also and it's leather. It's a nice mi mixture. The tool box feels amazing. Uh, the sides, the remedial sides are amazing. Uh, man, this, I went hard on this one. Well, it's not even my idea, it's Sean's idea, but um, yeah, I'm so happy with this one. The one thing I don't like is the, um, is the Nike on the tongue. I think it's so weird, almost looks fake. And yeah, I'm in love with this. I cannot wait to, to rock these. I think these will be great to rock and easy to rock because I wear a lot of browns these days. Go to my Instagram, you'll see I wear a lot of browns. But th these are amazing guys. I absolutely love these. I am no regrets, no regrets at all. Last but not least, might be my favorite dunk by you. Oof. These go hard, man. These go. Absolutely hard guys. These go mm, These go amazing. 
these go hard guys so these were inspired by the travis scott uh jordan one and i think they turned out pretty good i wish the swoosh though the tick was uh cream because i am going to replace these sneak uh these uh laces with some cream laces and i wish the tick was uh cream you know the swoosh was cream but you know these i'm really happy with these i'm i'm genuinely happy how they turned out i think they look amazing the color blocking is great the leather feels amazing uh like i said not gonna change your life leather but better than gr le leather and i cannot wait wait to rock these i think these are absolutely fire i want to see how they look with cream laces but probably won't work out because like the swoosh is not uh, cream but um yeah these are yo i these i i are no regrets absolutely no regrets i think these are, are dope these are my, one of my best designs uh some of my design i obviously saw it on twitter or something but yeah this is amazing guys but yeah guys those are nike dunk by use uh one of my favorite tools to use right now i think i just want to thank nike for actually giving us access here in south africa you know guys i'm always fighting nike i feel like nike needs to do more in south africa i understand that we're kind of like a third world country so and this is a luxury product i understand that but uh i think we deserve a social media page we need a nike sa that that can interact with us we need a nike sa page that will tell us uh calendars um that will tell us when shoes are dropping that will tell us with the hey this and this is happening uh i need nike to be more involved in south africa you know uh but hopefully one day fingers crossed but yeah thank you so much for watching this video guys i'm so sorry it's long but i had to get so many things out of the way i had to welcome you to this brand new show i had to tell you what what it's about i had to explain four pairs of shoes i want to make these videos like eight minutes most of my episodes on this on this on this show will be eight minutes so sorry for uh this longest episode but i yeah it had to be done usually i'll, I'll talk about one shoe usually so that that's gonna take like eight minutes or less but otherwise guys i hope you enjoyed the the show i'm hoping to drop two videos a week uh just to be consistent i'm usually not consistent at all with any of my other channels but yeah because i have a lot of sneakers on backhand i think i will be con consistent uh, i think my next video tell me what you want to see do you want to see a review or do you want to see uh some of my best pickups of 2022 so far i think i want to do my best pickups of 2022 so far from january to april but otherwise guys thank you so much my name has been okay wasabi you've been watching size 10 i'll see you again pretty soon Peace.